uh, as a youth in Ghana, I'll say for the most part, I, you know, like most youth, I, I really just wanted to get out of there, you know, see the world. Uh, especially, you know, go to the United States, you watch a lot of movies, uh, uh, you listen to a lot of music uh, from the States, and, and that, that's where you want to be, right? And so uh, I, I'll say that is probably even still true now with a lot of, you know, youth on the continent. But it, it's, it's, it's a true story for most, right? And um, I will say, of course, you do find that the grass is, is not always greener elsewhere. Uh, and for me, where that started off was, you know, I, I, after school, I worked for a, a, a family office, a Kenyan family uh, um, um, who are well-to-do and looking to do a lot more in, um, in sub-Saharan Africa, especially in East Africa, Uganda, Rwanda, Kenya. Uh, in South Africa as well, in, in different sectors as well, in you know, agriculture, in infrastructure, technology. And uh, um, I remember our first um, project was going to be in Rwanda. And so I was set to go to Rwanda myself. And I have to say, you know, I was, I, I mean, I'm, not, I'm, I'm ashamed to say it, but I was, I was very, very skeptical about going to Rwanda. You know, we've watched the movies, uh, uh, the movie at least, about Rwanda and, you know, we've heard the stories. And, uh, you know, I just didn't quite understand why we were going here, right? but they, I, I, they got me to read some books, you know, and I, I learned a little bit more about, you know, country, uh, um, um, by understanding the history and also understanding what they were doing there on the continent. And I must say though, it still didn't quite hit me until I landed there and realized, wow, like you know, they, they did all of this, you know, 20, 25 years removed from the genocide. You know they were able to get the country to this level um and i think that's what really sparked it for me you know the love the real love for the kind of going to rwanda and understanding you know the blessings that we do have on the continent which are actually massive like plenty you know you you realize it at a certain point and um, right. um understanding that and understanding that you know a lot of our issues are man-made you know it's not some you know uh, um, supernatural uh, uh, um, issues. These are all man-made issues that can be solved by man. Mm -hmm. And you know, once you 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 go to Rwanda, you very much understand that because when you think about where they were and where they are now, that literally it, it, it was man-made issues that got them into their genocide, and it was man-made sort of uh, uh, man-made problem-solving, you know, that got them to where mm -hmm. they are. And so. Um, that for me really sparked, you know, the the the, the embrace of the, the continent, realizing, you know, what, what we really have there.